Hi folks, it's uh, Pastor Jody here at St. Croix Christian Center and um, we're here today to talk to Karen Harding. And Karen is one of our missionaries from here that works in Haiti. And so today we're to discuss um, what she sees as the need, um, what she can do when she gets there. And part of that is not her doing it by herself, but us partnering in this region, not just here at St. Croix Christian Center, but across the region and even across the nation. And so sit back, enjoy this uh, moment of information and um, how we can be getting involved and how we can partner with her to see people's lives changed for the good. God bless. So Karen, it's great to have you with us today. Thank you. And yeah, uh, we're, we're excited, excited what God is doing and how he's using you. And um, so, question, why Haiti? <laughs> well, it seems that uh, this happened many, many years ago. Um, I remember having a pastor who visited Haiti on, for weeks on end. And I was completely taken up with, with his experience. And then it just seemed to evolve into um, uh, having a greater heart for a mission there. I supported it for um, a mission in Haiti, in Montwee actually, for about 10 years. And uh, while, um, in fact, while I was praying for my husband who um, was dying of end-stage renal failure way back in uh, 1998, uh, the Lord spoke to my heart and said, um, you are to be a type of Moses that I used to set the people free. At that point, I had no clue what he was talking about. In fact, I kept thinking, well, I'm just here praying for my husband. But um, what I discovered years later after learning more and more about Haiti, um, I just felt that God was opening a door for me to go there. I really didn't know what I would be doing. But when I, when I arrived in Haiti, just this past um, August of last year, uh, I sat down with a group um, in Glace, in the southern part of Haiti, and uh, the pastor and his wife, um, who are Haitian, sat down and uh, he took one look at me. He said, uh, just as Moses was used by God to help set the people free in Egypt, we have a Moses among us today. And he pointed his finger at me and said, it's you. You know, you're called of God to help set the people free and I was blown away realizing that I had received that word from God over 20 years ago and uh, so throughout all of this journey I just feel that God has called me and uh, I'm just open to whatever he would want me to do here for wow. the Haitians and I understand you've been to Haiti already yes. um, you've seen the needs yes. there are many so share with us um, what are the needs? I know there's many, but share with us some of the needs that you see that just need to be talked about. I think that uh, for me, coming as the only Canadian, and I'm actually living with Haitians when I'm there, what I'm, what I'm seeing is a level of poverty I have never comprehended before. Um, it's almost like peeling an onion, layer after layer after layer. You see how poverty has affected their lives, their mindset, their worldview, their view of God, everything. And it would seem that the greatest need is to um, be included with the rest of the world. They, um, one gentleman, I had only been there a week, and he spoke English. He met me at the gate and wanted to ask me a few questions. And I told him about my master's work in, on exclusion. And, and he said to me um, a very profound statement. He said, you know, the people of Haiti believe that the world has excluded them. Um, but they know that God loves them. So this blew me away because all of my work on exclusion had done with been done with categories. Right. You know, like uh, uh, the impoverished, the you know, uh, people with disabilities, uh, the elderly, uh, on and on. Mm -hmm. So what I realized is that exclusion was alive and well in Haiti, but, but on a national level. And uh, so what I feel is that the people need to know that the world has included them. The world sees them, sees into the reality of their lives, and that the world wants to help. I've never seen a group of people work harder in all my life. I've never seen people who love God more in all, their, in all my life. And I, 
I just can't get over there, the solidarity with their brothers and sisters in the community. So if they have a bowl of rice, they are quick to share it with anyone around them. Their needs are, are simply to be loved by us and let God use us to help them see the love of God. So, so Karen, you shared with us why Haiti, you shared with us um, regards to what you see. Mm -hmm. And um, so now we're going to, we have St. Croix, as well as many folks have partnered with you across the region and across mm -hmm. the nation, really, the world, yes. to get you to Haiti. Mm -hmm. And um, so when you go back, there's many needs. Absolutely. We'd love to change the nation in a few weeks. But maybe three things that you're like, you know, when I go back, there's three things I really want to focus in on. What would those be? The top priority at this point is to help them secure a newer used vehicle. The 1997 Honda Passport has pretty much given up the ghost, and they need something to um, ride around in doing their mission work. Mm -hmm. Another thing that we will be doing is converting the upstairs of our mission office in Lakai to an Airbnb. So that will involve lots of painting and beds and sheets and all that kind of things to encourage visitors to come and uh, to see what we're doing firsthand. And so that should help the community as well. And the third thing I would say that's quite practical is we would like to um, start a community garden. We, we actually represent about four communities in that area, in Lake High, even though we have a national vision, but we would like to supply garden uh, tools and equipment, and I'm going to bring lots of seeds, so the people in the communities will have lots of great vegetables in time. Wow, that's great. So you've heard of folks, why Haiti? What do we see in Haiti, what we're gonna be doing that's in Haiti? Haiti. And uh, we at St. Croix Christian Center are just absolutely ecstatic that Amen. this is happening. And not just us, but many partners from around the country. Exactly. And mm -hmm. um, just want to be part of what's going on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of times we hear about missions, we hear about um, opportunities abroad, and we think about filling um, crusades, stadiums full of people, and mm -hmm. big revivals and Bible schools and churches, and all that is, has its place. There's no yes. doubt about that. Mm -hmm. But what we really see here is boots on the ground. That's for getting sure. strength in people's bodies and minds mm -hmm. so they can build the churches. Absolutely. Build the homes. Absolutely. And build the schools. Yeah. And that's what our focus is. And you know, years ago when this church yeah. was established here at St. Croix, it was local church. Global vision. That's where we're at. And <laughs> Amen. so we'll put legs on this vision. And so if you want to be a partner, if you want to be involved, um, you don't have to get the plane to fly to Haiti. You sure can if you wish. Yeah. But, um, what it takes, of course, is prayer, and it takes yeah. finances. Yes. And that's where we all can participate. So at the end of this video today, there's instructions on how you can participate financially, mm -hmm. and um, you will get a receipt uh, Absolutely. For, your, for your donation. Mm -hmm. And so we're looking forward to how we can make a difference, make this happen, and see God's will fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Thank Haiti. you. Yeah. So if you have any questions, mm -hmm. look up Karen. Um, give her an inbox, give her an email, whatever the case yeah. may be. But we're excited about revival in Haiti Absolutely. and making a difference in people's lives. Amen. So God bless you folks and thanks for tuning in and for participating in today. God bless you. Thank you. Good morning, good afternoon everybody. I'm Dr. Kenel Pierre, President Mission Evangelic Dev Social in Haiti. I'm very happy on this Sunday morning come to talk to you in the name of the Jesus Christ. Haiti is the poor country. Some of them is very poor. Of course, the mission is just open the door. He need the help because the mission, he got the good heart. He need to do something for these people. It's very poor. The people, one example, he got a problem for the pay the school for the kids. He got a problem for the food. He got a problem for the clothes. He's got a problem for the medical supplies. He got a problem for the world. But he got a many, so many, many, many poor. Brothers and sisters, I know you got the good heart. I know you believe in God. Para la 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 para